Now we want to do you a tune called the Sugar Tree Stone. a number of call Patty on the Turnpike. I think really this one came over from Ireland and come down to us through the Appalachian Mountains in uh, different forms, but here's the version I do of it.
Well, in describing my style of fiddling, people began to ask what style of fiddling it was that I was doing because they were not too familiar with it. And I had to uh, try to figure out just what it was. And I ended up calling it Appalachian Mountain Longbow Fiddling. And the reason I did that was Longbow is where you play several notes with one direction of the bow, whether it's forward, upward, or downward. And of course, in my style, I play just any kind of bow movement. It's not all just forward or backward that way. It's one note forward, one note back, two or three, or just any kind of noting arrangement you might figure out as far as the bow movement is concerned, forward or backward. And therefore it has a pretty much a variable technique to produce whatever you are trying to express in your music. Now we want to do you a tune we think that everyone knows, and that's called Turkey in the Straw. Gordy and I met Ralph Blizzard in 1982. In May of that year, there was a little uh, a little festival on Bays Mountain outside of Kingsport, Tennessee, and we were there with the Greengrass Cloggers. I had been playing banjo on stage, and I was leaving the stage area with my banjo, and this, this guy walks up with his fiddle in his case and says, Hi, I'm Ralph Blizzard. I'm a fiddler. Let's jam session. So I didn't know who he was, but I said, Sure, and we went down the parking lot, and... Uh, sat down and it was wonderful right off the bat. Um, we, I knew a lot of the Arthur Smith repertoire and some of the Delmore Brothers songs and Ralph knew those, so we had material in common right from that first moment. And Gordy came down and joined us and we invited Ralph to uh, come to the Monterey Fiddlers Convention. He'd never been to one before. And 
really made it seem as if he didn't know anyone else to play music with and was surprised that people were still out there playing old time music. So. Uh, Leather Bridge is, is, uh, is a favorite old time fiddle tune about most all fiddlers. And that was true back in my early days and there was so many different versions of Leather Bridges. And, and the version that we play just sort of developed as, as we played it and it evolved into its present form, which we like to play that number quite often. One things about playing Ralph year in and year out is uh, is the infinite imagination that that seems to come out of his fiddle and and from wherever it is inside him that it that it makes it to the fiddle. Uh, like we like to say, never plays it the same way once. And uh, it's really exciting to to try and follow what Ralph is playing and all the different variations. He'll usually start out playing something. In, in a fairly recognizable way, the melody, you know, it's um, Soldier's Joy or Mississippi Sawyer or whatever the melody is, but not very long into the tune, usually two or three times through, we realize we're in a whole different world and it's, it's really fun to get into that world and hop on and um, it's been, been an honor to do so for, for 14 plus years. And, also, as, as, a, as a band, one thing that it does for us is since we never know where Ralph's going to go, it means that the other band members have to listen intently the whole time. You can't rely that he's going to play two A parts, two B, B parts, because he might play uh, three A parts or five B parts so, or put in a whole new part right on the spot. And as a result, uh, it, I, I believe that our, we're all tied together pretty closely with our ears every time we perform. And that's uh, one thing that helps make it feel cohesive. Mm -hmm. 